Hello everyone and welcome to Geeks or Geeks. The problem which you are going to see today is to check if a linked list is a circular linked list or not. So, uh, yeah, so we need to find out if the linked list is circular or not. So let's look at the definition of a circular linked list. So a linked list is called circular if it is not null terminated and all nodes are connected in a form of a cycle. So we are actually looking at this kind of a structure where your, your head is pointing to this node and then you have a cyclic structure which means that the last node will point to the first node so there will be no uh, pointer that will be pointing to the uh, null value so it will not be null terminated. So we, have, we, we need to find out if the uh, link list which we have as an input is a circular link list or not. Uh, in other words, if it is null terminated or not. Uh, please note that uh, an empty link list is also considered as circular. So if it doesn't have any nodes, so then we'll be considering it as a circular link list. So uh, let's look at the solution. So the idea which we'll be, we will be following is to store the head of the link list in a variable and then we keep on traversing the link list. Then, uh, there, then we'll break the loop only in two cases. One, if we reach null, which means that it is not a circular linked list. Otherwise, if we reach the head pointer again, which we stored in the temporary variable here, if we reach the uh, head again, then the linked list is circular. So either one of the cases will become true eventually and the loop will break. So uh, let's start with the uh, structure of the node. So you have the uh, data part and the pointer to the uh, next node as the structure of the node. Then uh, the utility function to create a new node wherein you declare a new node then you set the data part and the next pointer as null and then you just return the node. Let's look at the uh, driver method here wherein uh, you have the first of all the creation of the linked list. So we create the linked list one, two, three, four. And then we uh, call the is circular method here. Now, so at this point of time, it is not circular, but uh, then we make it as circular and then we again call the is circular function. So in this case, it should return no. And in this case, it should return yes. So here is the is circular function. So in this method, uh, first of all, we check if the head is uh, equal to null. If that is the case, that uh, then it means that uh, the linked list doesn't contain any node. And as we just discussed that uh, if uh, linked list doesn't have any nodes, then we'll consider it as a circular linked list. So we'll return it as true. So if uh, the linked list doesn't have any node, we return true. Otherwise, we execute this part of the code. Now what we do is we uh, in the uh, variable node, we uh, store the value, the next pointer of the head. Now this is our uh, uh, variable which, uh, which we'll be using to uh, loop on the uh, link list. So we run a while loop. Uh, where uh, in, uh, inside the while loop what we are doing is we are just moving the pointer of the node to the uh, next node. Now this while loop will break only in two conditions. Either the uh, node becomes null which means that it is not a circular linked list or the node uh, becomes equal to the head which means that uh, the uh, variable node and the variable head are pointing to the same node. In that case, it means that it is a circular node and it is a circular linked list and uh, the pointer node has uh, traversed the whole linked list and now it is back on the head. So in uh, eventually one of these conditions will become true in any linked list and thus we will know that uh, the loop has uh, been breaked. Now to uh, to return it to the uh, caller calling function that uh, if the linked list is circular or not, we just uh, return uh, the comparison of node with head. So 
if node is equal to equal to head that means that it is a circular linked list uh, because uh, because node will the a node will have the last value which it had from this link uh, from this loop so we can we are comparing that last value with head so if it is equal to it then it's a circular linked list if it is not equal to it then in that case it is uh, not a circular linked list pretty much uh, the uh, simple approach so yeah that is all for this tutorial you can visit this link on the geeks or geeks website to find out all the stuff which we have discussed and to also run on the code on the web id itself thank you very much